Day. Long, long emails asking lots of questions, many of them with attachments that were spreadsheets charting your emotions. That's just what a person does when they like someone. The big jumper you knitted me with our initials on. That was cute. The collage you made me out of your own hair that I only got recently because it was held up in customs for months being analysed. Your DNA is probably on some Australian database of psycho loonies now. I thought you loved my hair. On your head! I love it on your head! Not hacked off in clumps and glued to a mood board! I'll be back in two minutes, mate. What? I'm just going home getting Mum's umbrella. You can share mine. Two minutes, right? This is really sweet of you, Ryan, but look, I want to help you. If you need someone to go to the police station with you, I will do that. If you need protection, I'm quite good with hand-to-hand -hand combat, apparently. Ryan, so, listen to me. And as it says on that note, I have some money stored up. I can give you as much as I can just to keep you off the streets. Ryan, I'm seriously not a prostitute and I'm not an escort. Of course you're going to say that, but please, just let me speak. No more running, no more hiding. I don't want you out on the streets anymore. I don't want you committing public sex acts or anything like that. You're a sweet and lovely person. And I wouldn't want someone like you ruined by the criminal underworld. But- No buts. Which is what I hope you say to your customers as well. Why don't you tell me about Cassie? Well, that's... Your sister, where is she? I, I told you, uh, Machu Picchu. I mean, as a kid, she always um, had this thing about the Incas, you know, always wanted to go and see... You She's know. not really travelling, is she? I saw a fluid drip beside her. What's wrong with her, Sam? Uh, nothing. I mean, I, I'm the one that you should be concerned about. I, I'm the one who... Uh... It's okay. Take your time. She has a tumour. A brain tumour. And you're scared you have the same thing. I, I have these, these crushing pains in my head. I feel sick all the time. I... Unless you share a rare genetic condition, the chances are very low. I know how I feel. Seeing a loved one go through something like that is bound to cause anxiety. Depression. Tension headaches. So you're saying that it's all in my head? What colour do you call this? Green. Olive green! I asked for lime green! You're a disgrace! Get this sorted, or I'll use every bit of my power to get you sacked! Thank you so much. Uh, you can go now. I thought we were friends. Best friends, even. Best friends? Really? Oh, Ryan, that's so sweet. Are you a prostitute? Excuse me? Hmm? Uh, it's just that you keep getting called by people with really European sounding names. And that makes me a prostitute. Oh no, I'm not Galfrig. <laughs> God, I can't wait for that casting. And you keep getting gifts and free stuff. And? Maybe they're trying to keep you fresh? <sighs> I think you're just being really childish, Ryan. I've just had a 15 minute fight with my imagination. I think we've established my mentality. I'm just saying, if you are a prostitute, I'm not okay with it. Well, I'm not a prostitute, Ryan. Are you sure? Yes. There's a lot of money in it. I don't understand. Are you trying to convince me to be one now? No, 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 no. I think I'd appreciate it if you left now, please.